Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump sends ABC boss who fired Roseanne into sheer panic with big nasty surprise. The firing of Roseanne Barr, which includes canceling every rerun of the 1990s mega hit, over her tweet about Barack Obama's socialist live-in roommate Valerie Jarrett has conservatives pretty upset. That includes President Donald Trump, who just sent ABC boss Bob Iger, who fired Roseanne, into a sheer panic. Trump gave Iger a big, nasty surprise, causing Iger and leftists on the ABC network, like Joy Behar and Jimmy Kimmel, to freak out. President Donald Trump personally called Roseanne Barr to congratulate her after she successfully rebooted her 1990s mega-hit TV series. Barr caused every Hollywood snowflake to melt after the new Roseanne show, featuring her character as a die-hard Donald Trump supporter, soared to number one in the Nielsen ratings. Barr's reboot blew away Trump-hating shows, like the other new reboot of the season, Will & Grace, whose cast portrays rabid leftists. The new Will & Grace show is obsessed with hitting the president with unflattering sinister remarks. And, the Trump-hating star of Will & Grace, actress Deborah Messing, blasted a ridiculous tweet about the demise of Roseanne and President Trump. Messing tweeted, I just heard hashtag Roseanne is cancelled, sick. My reaction, tears. I am so relieved and grateful. The hate that has been spewing from those in Trump's orbit has really taken a toll on all of our souls and psyches. I didn't believe it would happen. I had lost faith. Thank you at ABC. Deborah Messing is about as smart as a box of rocks. Reading her Twitter feed will make your IQ go down 50 points. Besides correlating Barr's ill-advised tweet about Valerie Jarrett somehow with the president, she believes every Trump supporter is racist. The ditzy actress also loves Stormy Daniels and her porn lawyer, that bottom feeder Michael Avenatti, who is a known huckster and scam artist. Liberalism is a true mental disorder. Make no mistake, Messing's got tears of joy because her show sucks. No one is watching it, and Roseanne was the competition. Millions of Americans were tuning into Roseanne because, finally, there was a show that broke the mold and real patriotic Americans in flyover country could relate. That brings us to the president and his nasty surprise for ABC's boss Bob Iger. Everyone knows, when Trump tweets, it causes a huge reaction throughout America and beyond. So, the president weighed in, tweeting, Bob Iger of ABC called Valerie Jarrett to let her know that ABC does not tolerate comments like those made by Roseanne Barr. Gee. He never called President Donald J. Trump to apologize for the horrible statements made and said about me on ABC. Maybe I just didn't get the call? The president is making the point that conservatives are treated very differently by the Hollywood crowd, and Trump's tweet is making life hell for Bob Iger as his leftist ABC stars come into question. It's also why many are saying, even though Roseanne apologized profusely for her remarks, there is no redemption available to her by the rabid leftists. She owned her words. Unlike another ABC employee, Joy Behar. ABC's Hagfest called The View gave blabbermouth Behar a pass after she yucked it up, insulting Christians as mentally ill in an attack on VP Mike Pence, who said he communicates with Jesus. Sure, Joy Ellis apologized to Pence after weeks of backlash, but she devoted an entire book to repulsive comments about Trump, and it's celebrated by ABC and Amazon. Roseanne retweeted this photo, below, of two ABC stars, Joy Behar and Jimmy Kimmel and it says, we can say whatever we want and left-wing media keeps us employed. Amazon describes Bahar's book, called The Great Gas Bag, as, one of our most beloved comedians, the brilliantly witty and outspoken star of The View, hits the most unpopular president ever elected where it hurts, and makes us laugh and cheer, in this hilarious alphabetical guide to everything that's wrong with the orange one, Donald Trump. It continues, The Great Gas Bag is Joy's answer to the hell that is the Trump Orange House. Structured as an AZ guide, G is for gold. N shower, P is for pence and PC grabbing, T is for tweets, twits, and twats, etc. So, ABC fires Roseanne, but they give foul mouthed Behar a daily platform to spew her sick comments. It's a tad hypocritical, wouldn't you agree? Then, there's ABC's Jimmy Kimmel, who donned blackface in a skit as basketball star Carl Malone, but he's still employed by ABC. What about Joy Reid? who is on MSNBC. She hates Trump and his supporters with a vengeance. After blog posts were found from years ago, where Reid went on anti-gay homophobic rants, the MSNBC host lied her butt off, claiming someone hacked her computer. Politico reports, the alleged blog posts include language critical of gay marriage and claims that homosexual men prey on impressionable teens, messages at odds with Reid's reputation as a progressive media leader.
The posts also take aim at Rachel Maddow, now MSNBC's star primetime host, for having views on gay rights at the leftmost end of the political spectrum. Most straight people cringe at the sight of two men kissing, one of the posts reads. The nature of political correctness is that gay people are allowed to say straight sex is gross but the reverse is considered to be patently homophobic. Everyone knows Reid wrote those posts, and according to MSNBC's liberal pro-gay views, she should have been fired, but MSNBC gave her a pass. So, not only does she post anti-gay stuff, which her network views as abhorrent, she lies to America and gets away with it scot-free. It's clearly a double standard. ABC gave no consideration to all the lives they affected by cancelling Roseanne's hit show. It provided jobs to hundreds of people from the sound and lighting people to caterers, cameramen, hair and makeup professionals, and so many more who could have been enjoyed a secure job for several years. Now, boom, they are out of work, too. Even some of Roseanne's liberal co-stars were sacrificed in ABC's attempt to snuff out anything and everything pro-Trump. The quick reaction, firing Roseanne proves those ABC executives were looking for an excuse to rid the network of a pro-Trump show. When the Roseanne reboot broke rating records, it was a real win for conservatives in the culture war, and that had to be destroyed. But, now, President Trump's tweet is causing conservatives to put the screws to ABC's Bob Iger. If Roseanne's gone, then it's only fair ABC should be boycotted and The View, along with Jimmy Kimmel's show, should be cancelled immediately. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.